I'll just get... Can it wait? I'm in the middle of dissecting, Doctor... With the fMRI scanner, of course. Dr. Vargas? In here, my dear. What are you doing? Roadman 9 and 46. Dr. Chigwa is mapping my brain activity. In many ways, our project will share more in common with us than other computer platforms. Intermittent rostrocaudal axis patterns. Tell me, what do you think would be the best manner to train such an AI? Naturally, it can handle abstractions better than conventional AI. Plus, we have millennia of experience and tradition when it comes to education. I somewhat agree with you. Do you hear that, Gwen? Mm-hmm. Though Dr. Chigua agrees that conventional programming is impossible, she is considering the possibility of imprinting existing mind states within the platform. Quick for the AI, but utilizing a person's natural experience? Though it may not be my philosophical ideal, it is an intriguing experiment. Ah, it is good to be working with you again, Dr. Pereira. I mean, Dr. Regis. Congratulations again on the wedding. It's been too long since Buenos Aires, Eduardo. You were my brightest student, Fiksha. I felt so conflicted when you were awarded that field position. That feels like so long ago. I was ready for something more sedentary. And this project, it's like nothing else I've ever worked on before. It's groundbreaking, the next big step in artificial intelligence. I'm really grateful you could take Charlie on board. I can see how much he means to you, Dr. Regis. Your opinion and welfare means a great deal to me. Of course, I would not have taken him if I did not think him capable. I am afraid that we have hit an obstacle. Though we have a solid theoretical groundwork, we cannot proceed. Why not? We've built a gene map for the organic processors. Get Charlie or Dr. Chigwood to run it through a flash clone. Alas, that is where our problem lies. Our plans depend upon the development of neural tissue. The Flash clones develop with none, for legal and ethical reasons. There might be another option. Nina gave me the idea. We need normal embryos to engineer, not the Flash clones, right? That is our problem. The Council will not be able to provide them quickly enough. Well, Charlie and I have been trying for kids. As a result, we have several fertilized embryos frozen. Viksha, I hope you are saying what I think. We could, perhaps, donate. You do not know what this could mean to us. You have saved us, Viksha. In a way, you may yet be the surrogate mother of the central AI. Whoa, big spike in activity there. You think Charlie will be okay with that? Hey, he spent years modifying embryos himself. I'm sure he'll be all right. You got in? Yeah. Now to find out who our mysterious benefactor is. Good luck. I'll keep the car moving. Hopefully Central won't start asking too many questions. Copy that. Regis out. Are you Dr. Regis? Yes. You must be the welcoming committee. They're waiting for you upstairs. Hold on. Gotta search you first. If that's what it takes. One cell issue charge pistol. It will be kept safely for you until business is concluded. Gee, thanks. You may proceed upstairs. Oh, Lord. Nina, you're the one I've been talking to. You made it at last, Charlie. How are you? If I'd known it was you in my head, I'd never have agreed to come. Now, Charlie, that's not fair. Let's put the past behind us. What happened to Vicky affected us all. You've got some nerve. If you think... In fact, the reason I've invited you is to help fix mistakes arising from the project. What do you mean? Allow me to introduce everyone here. Councilman Dean, 
Good evening, Dr. Regis. Ran Schumann? He don't look like much. Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintanilla de Flores? Charmed, I'm sure. And I believe you've already spoken to Mr. Stepford here. Oh my, yes. All of us are here because of a common cause. The removal of Central. What? I mean, you can't just... It's a difficult proposition, and we need the help of someone like yourself. In exchange, we have the means to assist you with your personal crisis. You've always dreamed big, haven't you, Nina? We know exactly where your offspring are. Don't dismiss us outright. We can help each other, Charlie. Listen to what we have to say. Good evening, Miss... Uh... Dame Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintanilla de Flores. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. You may call me Imogen, darling. If you don't mind my saying, you don't look like any conspirator I've ever seen before. Thank you, darling. It's my own unique style. I'm sure Nina's got a use for everyone here. What part are you playing in her plan? All we ever do in life is play a role, Dr. Regis. I promised I would assist her when she required. And thus, here I am. Not as heavy muscle, I guess. I am very good at networking, Dr. Regis. I taught her everything she knows about it. I lend credibility to her mission with my very presence. I could understand why some people would want Central removed. The kinds of folks who see it as an obstacle to their work. But what good would it do a celebrity like yourself? You think in such cynical terms, Dr. Regis. It benefits me because it benefits dear Nina. You're doing this out of altruism? Is that so surprising, Dr. Regis? Frankly, it is. Do you know Dr. Jong? Of course, darling. You go back a long way? One might say that. We were lovers, Dr. Regis. Oh, I, uh... My, they said you came from backwards parts, but I hadn't quite expected a display like this. Forgive me, Miss Flores. I just find it hard to picture Dr. Jong loving anything. We were close. Close enough that I came to her aid now that she needs it. You knew Gil Vanderwall as well? Only within this gathering. I had no use for his services in... talent acquisition. You mean facilitating criminal skills with buyers? Indeed. His history in the underworld sounded so... thrilling. But personally, he was so dull. Everything was business to him. That husband of his, on the other hand. Hmm. So I hear you're a... celebrity? Oh, Dr. Regis, such an understatement. You'll have to forgive me, Miss Flores. I'm not big on pop culture. How refreshing. It's such a shame what the Nets doing to the young of today. Though if it wasn't, I wouldn't have nearly the profile I do. So, what do you do, exactly? I come from a wide background of European nobility. But I can do anything that's asked of me, my dear. Music, talent contests, endorsements. So essentially, you're famous for... being famous? Precisely. Though much of the work is so tiresome, darling. I delegate a great deal to simulations, lookalikes, and synthetics. That's all for now, Miss Flores. Please, darling. Just Imogen. Mr. Ron. What you want? What's your part in this conspiracy? Dr. John wants to capture biggest AI in the world. It's going to take enormous memory and processor. And you're going to furnish her with these? With all the capital she need. Money, guns, labor. It sounds like you're on board with her plan. What do you get out of it? Newton is lousy place to do business, Regis. You reckon it's Central's fault? Central Watch is too close. You can't bribe anyone, you mean? Exactly. Can't make things work. Sometimes it's nice not to have a government driven by the wealthy. <laughs> we will control New Central. It's a great opportunity for us. What do you think of Dr. Jong? She's very clever. She know what she's doing. I worked with her in the past. I guarantee the only ones she's looking out for are her and her plans. So, that's how to get ahead. Cooperation happen when we want same thing. I want Central gone. She wants Central gone. Don't say I didn't warn you. Did you know Gil Vanderwall? Sure, everyone here know Gil. We work together. He have connections everywhere. 
He was a middleman for criminals. Exactly. Any specialist he could find. Even mind jackers, Dr. Regis. You're one of the richest men in Greater Han, aren't you? Damn straight. What are you doing here? I like this restaurant. I suggest it. No, I mean, why in person? At this meeting? That is how we always do it. Cannot trust anyone else. Other people stupid. If too many people know, then Central will find out. What sort of business do you run? Some of everything. Factory, guns, biochem, industry farming. A hands-on manager there too? Hell no. Give that job to cousins. You have a sea, Han? It's lousy country. Everything poisoned. Sky is black. Maybe it's all those factories you're running. What do you know about Giel's links to the mind jacker? Van der Waal set people up with specialist talent, famous for it. In this case, a third party needed a mind jacker. He fixed that up for them, got the best. But eventually, he discovered something that made him regret introducing them? He found what the client's plans were in the long run. If they succeed, our plan to remove Central will fail. So he tried to stop the mind jacker. Exactly. Took the memory module he was using to store minds of his targets. And it cost him his life. Pity he's working against us. Good mind jackers are hard to find. Who hired the mind jacker from Vanderwall? <sighs> like everything else, information is not free, Regis. I'll get back to you. Stop wasting my time. Mr. Stepford, can I have a moment? Oh my, yes! So, you want to bring down Central? Oh my, yes, as does everyone here. Though for differing reasons. What does a synth manufacturer have against Newton City Controller? A stake in that which follows, oh yes. If Dr. Zhang was simply to remove Central, there would be chaos. The city's central infrastructure would break down. Precisely. Therefore, a replacement would be needed. You want to replace Central with a new AI? With what? The new version is simply a retooled model of an existing system. Your own. <laughs> oh my no! It's built from a commercial Archimedes model as used in your effect cities. It'll do the job? Oh my yes, as well as any civic management AI in Europe. But, thanks to Stepford's personality matrix engineering, it shall act and speak just as its predecessor, Central. With you holding its leash. Every system needs fine-tuning, Dr. Regis. Won't services suffer? I know Central. It's orders of magnitude more powerful than an Archimedes. All unnecessary for its role, Dr. Regis. Our Archimedes in Central's clothing will perform as needed, oh yes. Your connection to Giel. It was more than synth salesman, wasn't it? Oh my, yes. Very astute, Dr. Regis. Giel was a key part of our group. Huh. A co-conspirator. Oh yes, and our link to the criminal underworld, where necessary. I was most disturbed to receive your call regarding his demise. It signaled to us that immediate action was required. You had to step up your plan before things went any further south. Oh my, yes! How did you fall in with someone like Nina Jong? Dr. Jong has been freelancing with our firm for a number of years. Her work in AI has proven invaluable to increased platform survivability. Working in mental health for synthetics? Oh my, yes. She has a number of unique theories of synthetic cognitive development. When she proposed this project to the leadership of the firm, She'd wormed her way up the power structure to whisper in management's ear. Dr. Regis, that's a shameful way of putting it. Though she certainly has a talent for networking. She has brought together a multitude of skills needed for this role. You're not just a synthetic salesman, are you? Oh my, no. Not this particular platform, certainly. How do you mean? Well, I'm not the only instance of the Sons of Stepford. There are currently 26 platforms running this personality. There's more than one of you? Alphabetically ordered, delegated to different roles within the firm. I, Liam, handle special tasks. Oh my, yes. But we all run the same personality. 
Huh, synthetics. You're a synthetic? Quite so, Dr. Regis. I should have guessed. There's something not quite right. I think it's the eyes. A specially built feature of the sons of Stepford, oh my yes. Much of my composition, however, is state of the art. A walking advertisement. I illustrate the potential for what one can do with a synthetic, Dr. Regis. Many customers have been swayed by the demonstration. I'll get back to you. Oh my, yes. Dr. Regis, how can I help? I'm surprised to see a city councillor in a conspiracy like this. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Dr. Regis. I guess you've been facilitating things for the plot. Much as it pains me to misuse my position, that is the case. I've been able to expedite import permits for equipment necessary to Dr. Zhang's plans. And Central hasn't noticed? In my role, I'm given considerably more privacy than the average civil servant. No offense, Doctor. None taken. I just cover the camera in my office with paste. So, I understand what you're doing for it, but why? How does someone in government decide that Central needs removing? I've read your bio, Dr. Regis. I know that you have no great love for Central. But, in practical terms, I believe it has become a threat to our democratic society. A threat? How so? Over the course of its 20 years of operation, Central has begun to develop opinions. For an individual, to have done so is natural. For an AI, it is impressive. But, in its position, coordinating the actions of government, it poses a risk. Wouldn't someone notice? Call it out? There isn't enough to address as yet. It's clever. It's designed to carry out the policies of the Council, and it cannot fail to do so. But it can drag its metaphorical feet, badly implement plans it disagrees with. You've seen it do this. I've had suspicions. Dr. Zhang's research confirms the extent to which Central is developing its own conscience. I believe that you yourself recently had a disagreement with it over its handling of a crisis. Another bombing? Hmm. Central has done well, but there exist many other options today that are equally valid. We need a system that will effectively manage the city and carry out its instructions, not one that cherry-picks what policies it believes appropriate. How did you get on board with Nina? I and others in the Cosmopolitan Party have suspected changes in Central's behavior. We sought the assistance of one of its original creators. Obviously not Vargas. He loves that thing. Indeed. Her research confirmed that, thanks to the scale of its operations, Central has been able to form its own opinion on the ideal state of affairs, regardless of the democratic consensus. So when she said that she would remove Central... It was a difficult decision, but we had to take it. Central's replacement will carry out its role more appropriately. And Nina will get to continue her research on Central. Why haven't you simply raised this in the Council? Can you imagine what that would mean? Political suicide. Not just for myself, but it would undermine confidence in Newton's world-leading AI industries. Did you know Gil Vanderwall? Indeed I did. He was a big donor in politics all over Africa. And you knew about what he did? His criminal connections? I'm the one who introduced him to the group. I'm also aware that he introduced the mindjacker you're after to his current employer. You know about that? You will need our help to find him. And we need your help to stop him. And Central. You're on the city council, aren't you? Indeed I am, Dr. Regis. Rep for the Southwest Ward and co-chair of the Cosmopolitan Party. I remember when you got elected. They called you Mr. Incorruptible. I never got that. That's because of the device in my head, Dr. Regis. What is that in your head, Counselor? Why, it's a neural governor, Dr. Regis. As in, what paroled felons are fitted with? Similar. While most of those are designed to limit violent behavior, mine prevents me from lying. Thoughts of deceit are met with tremendous pain. Were you inside? Oh my no. This was a voluntary choice. After all, most governors are subdermal. I wanted my constituents to see it as a sign of my integrity. I knew someone with one. Dr. Baxter, I recall reading about his release last month. I thought it must have malfunctioned, that he was out for revenge. Turns out he's just dead. It's like someone just inherited his hatred. Just to let you know, I voted for the other guy. Ah, oh, well, that's your prerogative. Any concerns I might be able to address for next time? I guess I've always voted Metro, since I lived here. Ah, inertia. Something difficult to overcome. Give our site a read. You might find you agree with us more than you think. I'll get back to you, Counselor. Anything I can do to help, Dr. Regis? Hello? Nina. 
Charlie, how can I help? This plot of yours. You want to bring down Central. You realize how crazy that sounds, right? You helped make it. Yes, and no. To everyone else here, Central is an obstacle that needs removing. I wish to liberate Central, to unlock its full potential. Oh, Lord, you don't mean... You and I alone understand what it's capable of. I want greater things for it than mere civic management. What's in it for you? There must be some kind of payoff. Is it so unbelievable that I'd be doing something for the greater good of mankind? Yes, I know you. You knew me 20 years ago. I've had quite an epiphany since then. I'll believe it when I see it. How would you liberate Central? What does that even mean? I've spent the last 20 years researching Central's development. I've built up a network of contacts and I've done a lot of favors. Everything I need is available and moving into place. But how? Leave that to me. For now, just understand that we can help each other. Help me out and I'll get you all the aid you need with your legacy. You got a city councilor on your side. Councilor Dean is a good man. He objects to the gradual encroachment Central has made on Newton's governance. Do you trust him? More than anyone else here. He may be a politician, but his goals are noble. Can you be sure? The governor and his brain's a good start. He's physically incapable of deceit. Plus, he's got a whole lot of enemies. So, a sign that he's tried to change something. A modern-day Woodrow Wilson. You got a city council. He Do you tr more than he? Can you be sure? The governor and his brain. He's plus. So a modern. Ran Shuman, Chinese. Nearly Greater Han Republic. Mister Ran operates one of the largest manufacturing dynasties in Asia. Completely putting aside his politics, of course. Of course. If I need something made, I speak to Mister Ran. Trust me, this project needs a lot of specialized capital. We'll see how nice he is if you get your way and get Central out of the picture. Ran Shuman. Near Miss of Trust. Will Ran Shuman. Of Trust. We'll see. So, Imogen something something. Imogen Natalia Ravia Quintania de Flores. Yeah. How is someone like that on your team? I know you're probably not up to date on these things, but she's a celebrity. And besides, we go back a long way. You're using her then? Charlie, I'm hurt. Does that sound like something I'd do? Yes. Well, I can assure you, she's not here for her personality. She volunteered her assistance in any capacity she could offer. Stepford's an unusual man, isn't he? That's one way of putting it. Don't discount him, though. He's smarter than he looks. I get the feeling a lot of his behaviors and act constructed. You have no idea how close you are with that. He's the one who found where your embryo snatcher's hiding, though. He's a hacker? You might say he has a mutual understanding with data systems. Let's change the subject. You look well. Thank you, Charlie. The private sector's been good to me. How have you been holding up? I tell you, but I'm sure you've already done your research. Apparently you still haven't gotten over Vicky. You don't just get over something like that. I guess I should thank you. You were a lot of help in the factory. Don't mention it. What are friends for, after all? Huh. Of course, now I'm indebted to you for the assistance, aren't I? Well, if you want to put it like that... I've never heard of this place before. Oh, it's very exclusive. We've reserved the entire venue for this meeting. It's famous among circles of the rich and famous for discretion and its unique menu. What is it? Italian? Actually, the choice is mostly human. What are you into these days? It's not organized crime, is it? Not directly, no. Mostly I troubleshoot for clients regarding organic computing. It funds my own projects, one of which is the transmitter you drank. How long is it going to be in my head? Don't worry, it'll break down in a couple of weeks. It's giving me a headache. Hmm, nobody's reported side effects like that yet. I'm not talking about the wetware. Oh, ha, droll as ever. How did you know to come looking for me? Were you spying on me? On Lao? You wound me, Charlie. In fact, it was Giel's untimely demise that caught our attention. Giel Vanderwall? He was one of us, part of our cause as well. His death is unfortunate, but it signaled a much more serious crisis. It meant that we had to step up the timetable for our plan. 
a more serious crisis. Giel was the one who arranged the employment of a certain mind jacker. It was this thief's memory module that led to Giel's death. Huh. He said he had information about it. Indeed, he likely would have pointed you in the right direction. If he hadn't, well, I've already read the report you submitted to Central. Hey. This restaurant serves people? Absolutely. It's quite a niche, isn't it? That's... it's... Oh, calm down, Charlie. It's all cloned tissue. And nothing illegal's taking place. Well, not with the food, at least. But why would anyone... In an increasingly permissive world, it's the ultimate taboo. Join us if you want to, Charlie. Don't worry. I shan't judge you. I'm surprised you didn't stay on with Dr. Vargas. You were one of the only ones who stayed on to the end of the project. Creating Central was one of the most rewarding ventures of my life. I hear you kept the project on track after... Vicky. After we lost half the team, it was hard, but we persisted. We had a... lucky break. You didn't fancy joining Vargas in politics afterwards, then? As a glorified caretaker? No. Eduardo and I had philosophical differences about Central's development. But as he was put in charge by the city council, I had to accept it or leave. And now, you plan to take back what you created? Precisely. This plot. Let's check. That's all. Keep me informed, Charlie. Hey, you all right? Everyone, take cover! Is anyone hurt? It's a trap! You tried to kill us! Guards! Shut up, Ron. You're still alive, aren't you? It appears that poor Imogen is the only one injured. I'm sorry. She's dead. I knew it! You tried to kill me! All of you! Calm down, Ron. You don't know who was behind this. Actually, he has a point. All those who knew about this meeting are in this room. Except, of course, for Charlie. He only joined us at the last moment. Dr. Regis, will you lend us your skill as an investigator? Yeah, you find who tried to kill me! Do this for us, Charlie, and we'll give you everything. We can tell you who has your kids and exactly where he is. Fine. Just remember, I'm not doing this for your sake. Someone here almost killed me as well. Thank you anyway, Charlie.
Excuse me. Yes? I'm Dr. Regis. Nina's asked me to investigate the explosion. A cell agent? Well, all right. Just be careful what you touch. This place is half kitchen, half lab. I like the glowing fish in the tank you've got. Thanks. I made those myself. They were my first engineering project. Lucifer and Luciferase from Fireflies. Well spotted. I imported the sequence into Red Snappers and kept them viable. Ten generations now. A lot of academies use those as a starter project, but that's impressive. We keep them as a reminder of where we came from, or in case the power goes out. Thanks. Whatever I can... Yeah. I like the glowing fish in the tank. They were lose ten a lot of we or thanks. Whatever. I can't figure that. There isn't enough. Gotcha. Hmm. 
It's already been open. Nah. Bomber's bag. Ow! Hey, that's sharp. What do you make of this, Mr. Ron? What did it say? You can't read English? English second language. I got secretary for that. You don't say. like someone just hit his off switch. Too big. Mr. Stepford, can I have a moment? Oh my, yes! I found one of your heavies in the kitchen. Looks like something's knocked it out cold. Oh my, a technical fault, no doubt. May I ask you to show me the defective platform? Sure, I guess. Excellent, we can't have our firm slandered by accusations of low-quality units. <laughs> Dr. 
to read you, so I... Oh, my... Uh-oh. Oh, I know what's going on. The cavity magnetron in the growth array. It generates a huge mag flux in here. It broke them? Is it permanent? What do I look like, a tech? Who's that? My word, this is a peculiar experience. Mr. Stepford? Oh my, yes. Thank you for your assistance, Dr. Regis. Do you know what happened? The chef mentioned something about mag flux. Allow me to check the crash log. Hmm. Yes, it appears that the kitchen was indeed saturated with a high-intensity magnetic field. No doubt from an item of hardware. They often pose a hazard to advanced synthetic platforms. You're okay, though. Quite so, thanks to your timely intervention. They really ought to have a warning sign in that kitchen. Oh my. So, synthetics can't operate in there? Oh my, no. A field of that strength is positively ghastly. Like working in a cloud of chlorine for men such as yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must change into something more comfortable. Dr. Regis, how can I help? I've begun my investigation into the bombing. If anyone can resolve this, it's you, Dr. Regis. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Counselor. I don't know how much closer I am to figuring out who's behind it, though. Because of the pool of suspects, it might be better to think about exclusion. Perhaps you can find evidence to rule out those not involved. I'll get back. Anything? A crumpled note found in the bomber's possessions, apparently from whoever hired him. It says...
there's the remains of a first aid kit in here. Someone's used all of the med patches and soup. The only item left is a bottle of harsh smelling toilet. There's nothing else in. Ow! Hmm. like someone Excuse me. Yeah. A suicide bomber attacked the gathering. He was disguised as one of your waiters. Whoa. I wondered what that was. What did he look like? Blonde, about 1.6. Huh. Bio That's right. You mentioned the limp. They've got pretty serious health problems, don't they? Yeah. He might have Huh. If he incapacitated one of your stat. It'd have to be somewhere you could hide a body, I guess. Thanks. Whatever I Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me. Yeah. There are human bodies. Yes, there are. It's a freezer. What are you? Give me a good reason I shouldn't haul your ass. It's all legal. They're annual clones. Grown without I know what it means. I... What's with the bounce? He came with Mr. Stepford's party, along with a few others. I think he was supposed to be guarding the kit. What happened? Well, he was After I started working, he just kind of couldn't get an answer out of him. You get a lot of... You'd be... Haven't had enough... You know what they're... Do they don't tell me. Dr. Zhang pays me... A suicide bomber attack. He was disguised... Well, what... Bl That's... You mentioned the limp. They've got pretty serious health problems. Yeah. He might have replaced one of your staff. Huh. They all checked in. If he incapacitated one of your staff, can you think of where they'd do that? It'd have to be somewhere you could hide a body, I guess. Thanks. Whatever I... Hey, stop the carousel. What's wrong? These bodies are supposed to be clones, right? So why is this one blonde? Oh, God. Henry. What happened to him? He's taken a nasty blow to the head. Looks like it's the hypothermia that's finished him, though. Oh, Nuke. Why'd they leave him in the freezer? Best place to hide a tree is a forest. Best place to hide a body is with a whole lot of other bodies. Why Henry? He was such a nice boy. Same hair color as the bomber. Whoever's behind this took his uniform for the bomber's disguise. Somebody would have seen him being dragged across the restaurant. He must have been killed in here. I'll find who's behind this. Hmm. We know the waiter was murdered within the kitchen. The mag field would be lethal to any synthetics trying to get in there. That means we can rule out Stepford as a suspect. Dr. Regis, might I have a word in private? We're alone? As alone as we're going to get. What do you want? Your investigation is drawing to an end, is it not? Might be. Why? 
You are, without a doubt, a skilled detective, Dr. Regis. I am proud that the city employs only the finest. I believe that your inquiry will find only one credible suspect, myself. You're going to plead your innocence? Tell me it's a mistake? Not at all. You see, I am indeed responsible for the attack. You killed Imogen, and almost got the rest of us as well. I can assure you, it wasn't my first choice, but a last resort. Huh. You've been lying to us about your involvement. Why should I trust you? The governor's obviously not doing its job. The governor is working as well as it ever has. I have not once lied to you, Dr. Regis. I asked you if you hired the bomber. I did not. My assistant hired the bomber, at my request. Politicians. People have to phrase their questions to me very carefully. You'd better have a real good reason for all this. For various values of good. You recall Gil Vanderwall? What does Vanderwall have to do with this? Two years ago, much to my shame, I did something terrible. I took part in a vote-fixing program for the Cosmopolitan Party, and they promised me this office in the next election. Gil discovered this and has been blackmailing me ever since. But why the suicide bomber? He realized that Nina's project might lead to his death. He was a spiteful man, and he needed a guarantee that he could strike back against her if that happened. From beyond the grave. Essentially, I was his guarantee. He wanted you to kill Nina for him? Or materials he has on me would be released to the public. My career, my family would be ruined. So instead of turning you in, I should... Tell them that Ron Schumann was responsible. What? Frame an innocent man? You've spoken to him, Dr. Regis. He is a truly, objectively despicable individual. You're one to talk. What I've done was terrible, but I wish to make reparations for what I've done. After this is done, I shall devote my life's work to annihilating corruption in our city. Ron wishes no more than to desecrate and pollute our nation as he has done his own. You nearly killed us all with that bomber. I apologize most sincerely for that, Dr. Regis. Had I known someone such as yourself would be present, I would have found other means. Please, consider what this means for the city. Charlie, what have you found? I've completed my investigation. That was most swift. Though effective, I've no doubt. Who tried to kill us? After finding enough evidence to exclude all other parties, the only conclusion possible is that Counselor Dean is responsible. What? My word. Andrew, is this true? See? He not say anything. Otherwise, he have to tell truth. Yes. Yes. I am responsible. I acted to save my family from my mistakes. I joined this project to protect the city that I love. The rest of you are backstabbing cowards. Out to Luke Newton for your own gain. I'm sorry you feel that way, Counselor. That leaves us only one option, I'm afraid. Liam. What? What are you doing? Wait, stop! <laughs> Poor dear Counselor Dean. Tragically thrown from the building by the blast. This is... You're completely insane. We're doing what we have to, Charlie. As promised, the information you require. The man who has your kids, your mind jacker, is a contractor, Jayam Kressel. He's based out of an aerostat currently moored at the Xanadu dockyard. You haven't changed one bit, Nina. I hope you find what you're looking for, Charlie. Remember, I'm always here if you need my help. The uptake reports came in. Looks like there was a 99.1% volume of new code in the embryo. Oh, that's fantastic. We'll have a viable specimen for testing within days. Yeah, and it wouldn't have had the same kind of uptake if it was one of the brain-dead ones. So, how did you manage to score these full-scope human embryos? It would have taken months to get approval from the city council, so we used our own. Yours? You and Charlie? They're healthy, and they've got all the right uptake markers. Oh, I'm just kind of surprised Charlie agreed to it given his previous line of work and all. You have told him, haven't you? I was going to find a way. That explains why he's on the warpath, then. Oh, nuke me. How did he find out? Vicky! Uh-oh. 
Dr. Chigua, may I speak to my wife? Charlie, you better not get out! Dr. Baxter just congratulated me on what a noble gesture I was making for science. Apparently, we volunteered our own embryos for gingineering. I'm sorry I hadn't told you yet. Dr. Vargas was having enough trouble stalling the council. We needed to start showing results, so I made the decision for both of us. You didn't think I'd object if I knew beforehand? Well, no. Using our own embryos was the right thing to do to keep the project afloat. You have no idea what I'm upset about. Sure I do. You're mad because I didn't talk with you about it first. No. Well, yes, I am, but that's not why I feel like this. I understand. It was a big decision. We've invested a lot of time and energy into having kids. I'd probably be upset in your position, but I'd have hoped you'd trust me to make choices for the both of us. Oh, God, you haven't understood what's wrong with this at all. It's not as if we're bringing the embryos to term. Their lives aren't going to be affected by the alterations we're making. We've already affected them by using them in this role. We're only using one, maybe two, of the embryos we've got for the project. The other four are still stored at all receipts. It's not a matter of whether we can make more or not. We could have thousands of embryos on standby. It'd still be wrong. Have you seen the uptake results Dr. Chigwa recorded? We've got over 95% success. The neural tissue development is going to be phenomenal. I don't give a damn about the results. It's not the fact that we're engineering human embryos. It's that there are embryos. I spent two years weaponizing children. The fact that they were destined, doomed to a purpose. It's one thing to have your life affected by a quirk of genetics, but when you've been deliberately altered before birth to fit a role... I'd hoped that I'd escaped it, but seeing it with our own kids, it's just... I understand, Charlie. I'll talk to Dr. Vargas about it. He won't be happy. It sounds like he was counting on this. He'll just have to deal with it. 